when I was two years old or two and a half, um, I had um, overdosed on some Tylenol. Somehow I managed to get in <laughs> to the box and I ate too many. Your mom and dad say that when they saw you, mm -hmm. it was a scary sight to see their baby, their two-year-old baby, in the middle of the ICU in this kind of condition. When we got to the hospital, um, a nurse said that uh, they had just discovered that she had an overdose. I think they said it was something like 18 to 19 times the lethal dose of Tylenol. It just didn't look like a very good situation. I just started having organ failure and uh, my kidneys were shutting down, my liver was shutting down. My mom had told me that one of the nurses had said, um, like when they did an ultrasound in my liver, there was just like pieces floating because it was just completely um, destroyed. So your family started a prayer chain in essence to yeah. Benedicta. How many people do you think there were, there were praying for you? A lot. I don't know. Dozens? They never said. Yeah. At least. Oh, yeah. I don't think it was until afterwards that I realized that they had been asking a lot of people to. I mean, like the, the, the sheer numbers of people, you know, that they were asking to pray for Benedict. And then all of a sudden something does happen. One morning I just started to move my toes and um, like they just did a bunch of tests and lab work and everything came back normal. Like there was no gradual recovery. It was just. You mean all, all of a sudden, sudden your kidneys and your liver yeah, were just like fine? Yeah, like everything was just all the tests they did were normal. And they actually kept me in the hospital because they didn't believe it. The Vatican spent a long time doing a very thorough investigation, yeah. putting your brothers and sisters <laughs> through a lot of questions. I'd say, okay, I saw a box of Tylenol up on the bed, right? And they'd say, okay, well. What's the label on the on the box, right? And what color is the label? I don't really know. It's a box. <laughs> it was just a box there, you know. And then finally determining that your case was in fact a miracle. Mm -hmm. What is it like to be a living, breathing miracle? I feel really, you know, lucky that I'm here and hope that it's um, helped a lot of people. You Do know. you think miracles happen every day? Oh, definitely.